This variable is an int type variable and when we use this comparing operator with another int we have as a result uh, we have as a result an integer uh, no sorry a two or false what is a two or false let's do it in another way Okay, we're going to create a variable, a boolean variable. Boolean can keep a two or a false. Let's call it. Um, let's see. Puede beber. He can drink. Let's assign this expression to the variable and here. Uh, I'm complicating this a uh, bit. Okay. Here, only, here we only need an expression or something which as a result is true or false. This type of variable keeps true or false. As we saw in the tutorials about variables, inside a variable we can keep the result of an expression. In this case, the expression is not the one we are used to see, 2 plus 4, for example. Even if it works with two integers, h is an integer 2. Instead of adding, adding the map, we are making a comparison. If this integer is bigger than this one, the um, result of this expression is true or false. So it's a Boolean type. This variable can drink, puede beber. Remember, variable pla are places where to keep data. In a type Boolean variable, we can keep a data which is a true or false type. Depending, depending on the age, it will be true or false, and we are going to keep it here and here. We are going to use it. If inside puede beber it has true, it will run this. If inside it has false, it will run this. Let's try and see. Age, edad, 17. No puede beber, he can't drink. Let's repeat. Age, edad, 45. Puede beber, he can drink. As you can see, the functionality didn't change. Basically, it's the same. We can put this here and it's just the same. This is not just to complicate it. I want you to start understanding the way programming works. You can do things a lot more complicated using variables and than just writing very long conditions inside the if. Why? This expression is quite simple but we can do one a bit more complicated. Let's put another restriction. For example, a new law that says that people over 60 can't drink. We're going to write that somebody can drink if he's 18 or bigger. And, uh, well, Java didn't treat us very nicely with the and. This means and in Java. Edad, age, edad less than 60. That's bad, eh? Huh? You get to 60 and you can't drink anymore. While he is under 60 and bigger than 18, we're going to let him drink. Let's try it. We're going to say he is 61. No puede beber. He can't drink. Imagine he's 59 now. Puede beber. He can drink. What happened here? We have defined a more complicated uh, expression. Here we have two numbers. 
Eda is an integer, it is an integer, the one which the user entered by the console. We had an operator, this one. We had a comparison operator which had as arguments to numbers and as a result it has two or false and the age is similar if EDA age is less than 60 this is true or false and this operator is the AND we use this uh, normally in normal language this means that if the age of our client is bigger than 18 AND the age of our client is smaller than 60 we're going to keep 2 in the variable puede beber, he can drink the order in which these comparisons are done is this one until you feel comfortable maybe it's better you write brackets like this. Brackets make things be evaluated first than others. For example, before the brackets we could ask ourselves why it doesn't evaluate this first. The evaluation order is uh, that the AND is evaluated after the comparison operations. This is <coughs> complicated, so um, I recommend you that until you feel comfortable with the programming language, when you write a Boolean type expression, you use brackets. This give us, gives us the same result, age 60. Let's see what happens with 60. No puede beber, he can't drink. This is because we wrote if age less than 60. The day he turns 60, he can't drink. We could also write less or equal, and this way allow people with 60 to drink. Only the ones with 60 to 1 can't drink. I emphasize in this detail of less equal because it is very common in programming. There is something we call cut conditioning, cut condition. There is uh, plenty of literature about um, if the last one gets to be inside or outside. Okay, never mind. Let's um, go back to work. As I said before, um, we could also... Uh, okay, I know I didn't tell you. Okay, let's try to see this in another way. Let's comment this instruction. Let's try to write the same thing in another way. Okay, let's see. Let's write this the other way around. If no puede beber, he can't drink. When can he not drink? He can't drink when he's smaller than 18. When he's smaller than 18, he can't drink. And if he's bigger than 60, then he can't drink either. Let's write here, no puede beber, he can't drink. Uh, I have a problem with the copy and paste, as you can see. Let's keep everything in a variable name. No puede beber, he can't drink. Uh, if he can't drink, so this is correct. This should be no. And this one, puede beber, he can't drink. And here I'm going to write another instruction. This one. Uh, Let's see. This one. Java comes from C and the person who created C 
uh, decided that this symbol is OR. Okay, let's analyze this. Eda age less than 18 or age bigger than 60. No puede beber, he can't drink. If Eda less than 18 or Eda more than 60, we're going to assign 2 to no puede beber. In the rest of cases, we'll assign false. After in the if, we're going to put no puede beber, he can't drink. And in the case he can't drink, we'll keep two. We will print no puede beber, he can't drink. And in the other cases, puede beber, he can't drink. This should do the same as the other program. Okay, age 17, no puede beber, he can't drink. Age 21, puede beber, he can't drink. Age 65, no puede beber, he can't drink. Why did I complicate this so much? Because I wanted to show you this operator. This logic operator OR is just like the AND, but AND has a result too when what is here is two and what is inside here is two. The OR, as in normal life, this or the other. If this is two or this is two, at the end, the total will be 2. If neither are 2, all of this is going to be false. I recommend you practice and play with this. You've already learned some instructions you can play with and you have to practice. I hope this tutorial was useful. See you in the next tutorial. Good luck.